So switching gears back to fungi, because I, I like talking about fungi because it seems like this mysterious organism creature that does so much work. Um, and, and it's usually the most missing from most systems. Um, so fungi, particularly like uh, the VAM spores, which are the vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza spores, um, these ones we really like seeing in our soil systems because they contribute to uh, kind of that secondary um, assistance to the root systems. Um, where can we find information um, if somebody's looking under the microscope and, and really wants to identify um, the types of spores that are favorable in this direction? Where can we find some information of like, how do we recognize the good guys? You might want to get one of our um, consultants because they've been through a course basically that we talk about how you deal with endomycorrhizal fungi versus um, ectomycorrhizal fungi and some of the kind of variants um, where there's some very specific relationships with certain kinds of plants. And it is very important to recognize the difference between the endomycorrhizal, vesicular, arbuscular, mycorrhizal fungi that form little, they look like little tiny trees inside mm -hmm. the cells of the root. Um, so arbuscular, mycorrhizal fungi versus ecto which are, uh, it's a layer on the outside of the root system where the fungus just completely engulfs the um, surface of that root, which is really healthy for that plant. And you'll actually see a, a reduction in the amount of root system that a plant has when it gets covered with that ectomycorrhizal um, um, formation on the outside. The hyphae continue to grow bringing back all the nutrients as the plant uh, demands hmm. those nutrients and it's a very fast turnaround it takes a little bit longer perhaps with uh, at the VAM or the arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi so where would you go for information well um, the any one of the our, our consultants would mm -hmm. be able to help you and if they can't um, figure out this what's going on they'll usually call me in on it and if I can't figure it out with them, then we turn around and we start talking to like Peter McAvoy or um, My uh, some of the other, yeah, some of the other people that um, it, they concentrate on the mycorrhizal fungi and the mycorrhizal fungi uh, alone. Paul mm -hmm. Stamets, that's mm -hmm. who I was thinking of. You know, so people who focus in on just that, you you can pretty quickly figure out. Um, for example, in Florida, there's a, a group uh, studying the mycorrhizal fungi. And when you go to their website, there's actually, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's a little um, place for you to write the name of, of the uh, fungus that you're interested in mm. um, or the name of the plant that you want to know about. And it will go through all of the literature that they've been looking at for the last longer than I've been alive sort of thing okay. um, and they'll identify for you what kind of mycorrhizal fungus that plant requires 